Welcome to Cobble Hill Nature Reserve. Um, uh, this is probably one of the oldest uh, reserves belonging to the Heritage Wildlife Trust. Been in ownership about 50 years and been managed um, to encourage wildflowers. There are in fact uh, three, no four, wildflower compartments. Uh, as well as two old orchards and one or two other habitats in between the edge of Milk Woodland um, and uh, some, a small patch of rough woodland. Um, the meadows, I think, are thought of as being the most important uh, part of the reserve uh, because this is a relatively scarce habitat these days uh, and the management of the reserve um, is designed to encourage the wildflowers year on year. Uh, Common Hill Reserve has um, four meadow areas. This is um, the first one you come to as you access it from the car parking area called North Meadow. And in this view, you can see the meadow in the foreground and the old orchard beyond to the left. Uh, and in the meadow, you can see the uh, common spotted orchids, fox eye daisies, the beginning of the Hippericum or St John's Wort. Um, you can see yellow raffle, uh, red clover, um, bird's foot trefoil, and uh, a number of other flowers uh, are there deep down in the grass and other vegetation. This is an adder's tongue fern, uh, a species that we're uh, very fond of at Common Hill because there's quite a lot of it here, but it's actually seldom seen unless it's pointed out. Uh, you can probably see from this um, clip that uh, it's surrounded by high grass and other vegetation. So unless you know where to look or unless it's pointed out, um, then you probably wouldn't find it. Uh, this is a common spotted orchid, again a feature of Common Hill Reserve. This particular specimen is about two feet high, which is quite high, uh, presumably because it's growing amongst grass, which itself is the same sort of level. Uh, one of the identification features, apart from the spots on the lips of the little florets, uh, is the, the basal leaves, which have spots on, but they're not round spots, they're, they, they're stretched spots from side to side which is one of the identifiers when there's no flower you can tell what it is as opposed to the other orchids that appear uh, which is the early purple orchid. Uh, this is the lesser stitchwort flower uh, which can be identified as opposed to the greater because its stems are nice and smooth if you felt the greater stitchwort which looks similar, you'd find a very rough stem. And this is one of the small white flowers that tends to hide down amongst the grass, uh, along with a few others, which will also be recorded in a minute. Uh, this is a, another small white flower, not too dissimilar from the stitchwort flower, but in fact, the leaves are very different. It's called mouse ear, and it's called that because the, the leaves on the stem come in pairs and they're very soft and furry, like you imagine most ears would be. So this is a plant called yellow rattle, uh, so named because the seed pods um, will rattle if you shake them once the seeds are dried. Uh, this is an important plant for uh, wildflower meadows because it actually uh, feeds off the roots of grasses. And one of the management um, uh, principles of uh, well, wildflower meadows is to reduce the richness of the soil, which is what the grass creates. Uh, so in effect, this flower encourages other, other wildflowers to grow. So we try and encourage it as much as possible. The, the wood white butterfly is a really important um, aspect of this reserve. Um, and here on Monument Hill is one of the best places to see it. Uh, it's quite distinctive um, to separate it from the other white butterflies, of which I think there are about five that occur here. Um, it has a very low-flying, fluttery 
uh, flight, which almost makes you think it's going to fall out of the out of the air. Uh, so that's quite a distinct marker to begin with. And when it settles, which it does fairly readily, um, then it almost always closes its wings. And the wings um, are not pointed. They have a sort of rounded um, edge uh, tip to them. Um, and some light grey uh, colouring which is not very distinctive except that you can see it is light grey smudges uh, and if you've got all those things then you've got a wood white butterfly.